Tonight, it's a special bonus mini-sode of IFAF. Idaho Falls and freaking fantastic Food Feast Fiesta. IFAF, Idaho Falls Local, Independent, Alternative, Media, with Mike Nelson and Carly Morgan. You'll have to forgive us both. We are both in a food coma. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> I think that's fair to I think that's fair to say. Uh, uh, the Eastern Idaho State Fair starts today. We're doing this on a Thursday night, so you can get a first thing Friday morning. We are lucky enough to judge the fair food this year. Uh-huh. And we tried 33 dishes. So you can make up your mind. We got a video of each. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're just listening, well, you're going to have to imagine it. Maybe it'll be better in your imagination. It'll probably be worse because honestly, all of this food was pretty freaking good. Uh, we'll tell you the <laughs> categories we're going to cover. It's basically entrees and sweets. Yeah. Those two categories are broken down into two other categories, uh, new and the fairest of them all. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go... Best new sweet, best new entree, uh, fairest sweet, and then fairest entree. And Brandon Bird, general manager of the Eastern Idaho State Fair, mm -hmm. we'll have him announcing the winners. Always exciting. Ready? Let's go. Cheese curds with caramel sauce from Twisted Tater. Which really, this is sort of like a take on those big old popcorn buckets that you could get where you had like the cheddar and the caramel mixed together. Yes. Yeah. And if Corn Dog Company can put honey on corn dogs, right. we can certainly dip cheese curds in caramel sauce. Yeah, I would agree. Next up, Camille's Crepes doing Peachy Keen. You know, I noticed a lot of peaches at the fair this year. Lots of peaches. Yeah, and it makes sense. Like, this is peach season, and who doesn't love peaches? Plenty of peaches. All of them peaches. Peaches, peaches for, for me. me. <laughs> We're the worst. We share a hive mind. <laughs> All right. Look at this. This is a feast for the eyes as well as the sweet tooth. The Devil's Delight from Sweet oh, Temptations. Here's the thing. I don't really like chocolate-flavored things, so not like I'm not really into chocolate cake or brownies or anything like that. But oh, man, uh, this one was a pretty big exception. It was kind of fantastic. I will say I was indeed delighted. And Fruity Pebbles <laughs> on vanilla ice cream. Get out of here. You can't go wrong. You cannot you go cannot. wrong. Yes. Yeah. Like those, um, they they have Fruity Pebbles white chocolate bars. Oh, I love those things. One oh, my Carly's gosh. favorite treats. Yeah, by far. Here's the strawberry butter cake from Creamy Creations. Mm-hmm. That looks good. Oh, yeah. And I mean, anything with strawberries is always just tops. Uh -huh. So those are the best new sweets. Let's get straight to the best new entrees, starting with the surf and turf from Between mm -hmm. the Buns. Honestly, I liked it a lot. Yeah. I felt like it was missing something, but I also couldn't put my finger on what it was, and usually I'm really good at that. So it couldn't have been too integral to the flavor, um, but the surf was uh, a shrimp patty, and then the turf was just a good old-fashioned hamburger bun. Yummy. Mm -hmm. It was really good. And I did like how much cheese it had. Uh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Carly loves the cheese. I do. <laughs> Next up, the lime crazy stick from Mexican Crazy Corn. I will admit this one I was very unimpressed by. It wasn't. You said, <laughs> and they brought one out without the chili sauce, which you like. And yeah. it wasn't limey enough? Okay. Especially for something that's called the lime crazy stick. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like there was enough lime to it. When I make Mexican crazy corn at home, it has more lime and I'm not going lime crazy. Now, just so you know, <laughs> you know, when Carly goes through the Los Albertos drive through <laughs> at midnight, she asks for like four whole limes. I do. So <laughs> consider the source. Right. I do really like things <laughs> limey. But overall, I felt like so they brought it out without the chili powder on it. And I get it because a lot of folks around here can't handle spice. And that's fine. We're white Idahoans. But the thing is, without it, it's so bland. So there's a you tip. Know? Order it with the chili powder. You got to at least put the chili powder on it. It was Maybe way extra lime. Yeah. No, I will say it was way better than the Mexican crazy corn I've had from them before. Yeah. But also, I'm not the most basic palate out there. So sure. that could be a me thing. Yeah. Next up, the gourmet stuffed nacho bites from La Casita Mexican Food. Which I did think were brilliant, by the way. I loved it. So the cheese is inside the bite. Yeah. And you know I love cheese. They had beans, a little pico, a little mm -hmm. lettuce. Yeah, and their beans were really good. And I'm not really yeah. a big bean person, so I was I was impressed. Then there's the Krabby Patty Melt. 
This one I really, really like. From Chop and Crab Shack. This was yeah. one of my personal favorites. Ca- now, Carly loves the seafood. Yeah, and another thing, too, is that they only used real crab, no imitation crab, which, realistically, that's obviously a lot cheaper. And for fair food, you'd sort of think that they'd want to go that route. Right. But I love that they kept their integrity and went with only real crab. And I felt like it had a great um, ratio of crab to cheese. So that was always good. Okay. You know, plus they used a sourdough bread, and I love me some sourdough. That really complimented the crab, I thought. Yeah, and that aioli that they made was Mm -hmm. just... Phenomenal. Lots of peaches, lots of aioli. Yeah, lots of aioli. At the fair this year. Yeah. Check out the sweet Hawaiian pork from Big Guy's Hawaiian Barbecue. That's a nice looking bowl right there. That one was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Now, if you like sweet meats and stuff, I think that this is absolutely where you should go. I personally tend to go a little bit more savory, personally. But if you're like, it is, it's exactly what you would want it to be. And there's enough sauce for everything, you know, so that even when you get down to that better rice, you're still going to have enough sauce for it. You got to have a lot of sauce. You got to have a lot of sauce. And a lot of places try to skimp on the sauce. Right. They did not. And I appreciated that about them. Next up, Blackhawk Beast. Look at this thing. This thing is amazing. You, It's a burger. It's a sandwich, technically, uh-huh. but you got to <laughs> eat it. In a bowl with a fork. Yeah. yeah. And that's from Black Hawk Barbecue Pit. Uh-huh. Now, I did genuinely try to eat it in one bite. <laughs> I couldn't. You'd have to be a serpent. To, your mouth have would to, have to, yeah. You'd have to unhinge your jaw. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah. Now, this one had beef, pork, and chicken on it, which I thought was amazing. Uh, and I really like their barbecue sauce. It's not overly sweet, which I think is really hard to do with barbecue sauce sometimes. Right. It had an it had a nice more vinegar style base instead of like jam <laughs> base. So it has a bit more tanginess, which I thought was really good. Um, and this is one of the only ones that I actually asked what they were going to be selling it for. 16 bucks. Wow. And realistically, for how much you get? You should but you should see the meat on this thing. Yeah, I think it's I think right. it's well worth it. That's what she said. <laughs> also, the chicken cordon bleu from Camille's Crepes. I thought that one was really good. Really enjoyed it. They had some yeah. nice uh I'm assuming parmesan, but some nice hard cheese. Yeah, on the outside. On the outside, so when you mm-hmm. took a bite into it, that's the first thing you got. Right. And then and the it was nice, nice and crepe. Crunchy. And then the chicken and the cordon and the blue. Now, here's the only thing. They said that there was hollandaise on it, and I didn't taste any hollandaise. I think I got a little. Okay, maybe I just didn't eat enough of it, so okay. that could be on me. Um, I I think that if I were to order this, I would ask for a little extra hollandaise on the side or something. Sure, okay. But honestly, for it, was, dipping. it was pretty dang good. <laughs> then the flaming flautas. From La Casita, Mexican food. Those I thought were really good. I will say they were kind of fat for a flauta. Uh-huh. Usually they're a little skinnier, um, but I wasn't complaining. Right. They I need to stuff them so much. <laughs> right. I do think that considering that they're called flaming flautas, they could have been a little spicier, but I also understand that in this area, you can't go too spicy or else you're not going to sell it. So but if, that's yeah, fair. But if you're like Carly and uh, like it a little spicier, maybe yeah. order extra jalapenos. Yeah, I think that's a perfect route for that. This one was amazing. It's the pickle pizza from Mama and Papa Leo's. Now, this is the only thing on the entire, like on the entire judge sheet that I gave a 10 out of 10. (laughs) Uh, So I guess it was 20 technically because it was a 10 for appearance and a 10 for taste. Mostly because I couldn't think of a, a way to make that pizza look any better. Yeah. And I certainly couldn't think of a way to make it taste any better. It was so... I genuinely almost cried when I ate this. Now, again, consider the source. Carly is the one who talked us into getting the cream of pickle <laughs> soup in Bozeman when we went. It's true. And it did make episodes. me think of that, too. Yeah. It's so funny you bring that up. But it was great. So Alfredo for mm-hmm. the sauce, then mozzarella. Which was so brilliant. And then... And, um, Mozzarella and cheddar. And cheddar. For the cheese. And pickles. then uh-huh, pickles and some dill sprinkled on top of it. Oh. You said it you was just you smelled the dill like before you eat, yeah. like you can detect it. It's just, yeah, if you're a pickle lover. So when they brought it around just for us to see it, mm-hmm. I could just smell the dill <laughs> wafting off of it. It got my mouth watering. You must have been going crazy. Oh, I was nuts for it. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. I genuinely like it. You saw me mm-hmm. when I took my first bite and I thought I was going to cry. Yeah. It was w- so good. I was watching Carly closely for that. <laughs> it was really good. And So that's Carly, that's your favorite. That was my favorite by far. I'm safely. absolutely going to go there and buy a whole pizza and probably 
freeze half of it so I can have it periodically throughout the year. You're into fitness, whole pizza in your mouth? <laughs> I am. I am. Uh, I even thought that the crust was amazing, and I don't like pizza crust. That's funny, because that was my one complaint about that pizza. Really? I, it was nice and soft. Uh-huh. Um, but I like it a little crispy if See, it's going to be thin like that. That's fair. Yeah. But I'm the exact opposite. I love a nice soft pizza crust. I just think it's so much better that way. And with the pickles and the Alfredo and the cheese. And, oh, it's just so good. Next up, the Cajun <laughs> cheesy fries from BJ's Bayou. They were fine. Yeah. I mean, I like seafood, so I liked them. They had, yeah, they had shrimp and crawdad tails in them. Is uh-huh. that what you said? Crawfish tails? I think so. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, which I thought was good, you know, and it did give it a really nice seafoody base, mm-hmm. which was, and, and I mean, you know, seafood and potatoes, that's like a Carly meal right there. That's all I ask for, you really? know? Yeah. There was literally a month where I ate nothing for dinner every day, but salmon and a baked potato and a salad, and that's it. And it was the best month of my life. <laughs> um I will say I felt like the cheese sauce was a little on the thin side. Okay. So it was kind of hard to like really get a lot on your tater. You know, like if it was a little thicker so I could really dip it, that would have been better. But overall, I thought the flavor was there. Good note. Yeah. All right. So that takes care of the best new categories, sweets and entrees. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to move on to the fairest. And we're going to start with the sweets and then do the entrees. Mm -hmm. First fairest sweet, raspberry cream cheese brownie from Creamy Creations. Oh, which what a beautiful piece this one was. And I love that it's on a stick. Yes. And it's on a stick. So it's a brownie, some vanilla ice cream, and then some raspberry topping, all coated in chocolate and frozen on a stick. A yum. Uh, Yeah. The caramel apple chips from Fazakerly's Fudge and Candy. I love that name. (laughs) Right. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, this is really just a Granny Smith apple cut up with some caramel drizzled on it. Yeah. I will say I thought the caramel was phenomenal. And they do make their caramel fresh every day, which is also pretty great. Next up, deep fried Oreo from Yankee Can Cook. I did like this one a lot. I do have a note. Yeah. (laughs) They should be using mega stuffed Oreos. Oh, yeah. I don't know why they're not. Because when that cream melts, right? Mm, good deal. That was the best part of the whole thing, and there was so little of it. And it's such an easy, simple solution. You just go and get a bigger Oreo. Not to mention, it'll be even easier to put a stick on. That's. I think that's a good note. Yeah, thank you. Next up, the Peach and Dream Churro Donut from CR Fish and Things. So this one I was picking at throughout the entire thing because it was just so good. That churro donut, holy oh. cow, it's got the crispness. Yeah. It's got some sweet, and you know, churro flavored. Yeah. Right. With the peaches. And the peaches were really fresh too. I just realized I said churro instead of churro. <laughs> churros do you want to do that are the again? <laughs> No, we'll skip it. Okay. The churros are the uh, cat go gurt that we've <laughs> talked about on the show before. Yeah. <laughs> that your cats will go crazy for. Well and it's so funny because we used to call those churros all the time and now here we are mixing them up (laughs) i'm so confused uh and and here come more peaches the peach temptation from sweet temptations which was also just a beautiful looking dish Mm -hmm. you know it was just so well plated some peaches and some cream what more do you need right how about the better at the fair cake from creamy creations i mean it's a run of the mill better it's, than sex cake. It's I better wasn't. than sex cake. It's better than whatever, better than forever, whatever you want to tell your kids it's called. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah. I mean, again, I'm not a big chocolate fan, so I'm not right. really Right. Consider about the much. source on the. Yeah. On pickles and chocolate and seafood. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes to Carly and spiciness. Yeah. Then uh, we end the fairest in limes. <laughs> Jeez. I'm a weirdo. I never I'm so thought sorry. of you as high maintenance. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, the last entry in the fairest <laughs> sweet category, the deep fried cheesecake from Yankee Can Cook. So good. They, Especially the raspberry one. Yes. Just so melt in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. They at the, at the photo booth I was at, they're like, oh, we don't have a knife to cut this open. Can somebody take a bite? And I volunteered. Oh, that was so generous of you. And I chose the raspberry. Oh, yeah. Is there a raspberry and, and a, a caramel? chocolate? Or chocolate. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And also... What a fair food. Yeah. You know, like it, if you're walking around a fair and you don't see something like that, just randomly deep fried, you're at the wrong kind of fair. Yes, exactly. You know? <laughs> Agreed. Okay. We have one more category to go. The fairest entree. Let's start with the garlic truffle tortato. Oh, which you, 
I from love, Tortados. I've always loved Tortados. I feel like that is one of the best fair foods that you can find. And that's one of you those, know? they use a special peeler or whatever to yeah. cut it all into one strip. One big old spiral. Yeah, a spiral, thank you. Yeah. And they kind of pull them apart on the stick and deep fry it and then... See, that's always been one of my favorite fair foods and one that I always try to get when I go there. Kind of like a tiger ear, yeah. you know, or a turkey leg. It's just one of those ones you gotta get. Um, matter of fact, right now on my uh, tablet case, I actually have a teeny tiny sticker of a tortado. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously when you add garlic truffle to it, yes, I'm there. Yeah. I'm there. <laughs> Check out this, another big burger, the Warhawk oh. from Black Hawk Barbecue Pit. Now, the one thing I'll say about this it looks a lot like the beast from there too. Like, I don't know how you can tell the difference between the two. It does. It's a whole lot of meat. Yeah. <laughs> Check out this sampler platter from CR Fish and Things. This looks delicious. That one was the one I was really excited about too. What especially do you got? the deep fried salmon there on the end. Yes. Yeah, so it was deep fried salmon, deep fried cod, and then some shrimpies on it too, right? Yeah, big old battered prawns yeah. or what well, I don't know. The, there's no difference between <laughs> shrimp and prawns, are there? Is Not there? really. <laughs> Maybe in Australia. Yeah. But yeah, uh, so good. And then if you've got the appetite, you must see this. The whole damn farm from uh -huh. Smoking Bees. That thing is huge. And I'm pretty sure that that one is the one that won Best New Entree last year. I think so. When I judged. I think it was. I remember when we got that last year and I was like, it just blew me away. It it's was, a monster plate. Well, and it was just brilliant. Like that is fair food. You know? Fair food for a family of four. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, fries on the bottom. Uh huh. Fries. Then, then mac, mac and cheese. cheese. Uh huh. And then your proteins. Just tons of meat. Yeah. Tons of meat and barbecue Chicken, sauce. Pulled oh. pork, right? It was so good. Oh, man. Right. And, and when they say the whole damn farm, they mean the whole damn farm, you know? And they're going to clog your whole damn arteries. <laughs> But that's what the fair is for. Like, here's the thing. Yeah. They understood the assignment. Yes. They said, come up with the best fair food. Done. Easy. <laughs> then the deep fried cheese curds from between the buns. Which everyone loves a good old fashioned deep fried cheese curd. Absolutely. And their sauce was really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was some type of aioli. Maybe a little ranchy, but not Ooh. ranch. Okay. But right. just really flavorful. I loved it. Yeah. The Philly cheesesteak sandwich mm. from Yankee Can Cook. Honestly? Yankee Can Cook kind of did it for me this time. I've had a Philly cheesesteak almost everywhere. I love a Philly cheesesteak. This was great. This one was fantastic. It was a great ratio of meat and cheese. And I loved that the veggies still had some crunch to them. Yeah. You know, like it wasn't just a big old sandwich full of slop. I believe you said a little al dente. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were just the right amount. And they, especially next to the soft meat and cheese, it was that perfect amount of little crunch to really send over the top. Just great, you guys. I think the only thing they could have done to improve it. And again, just a little note, only because mm -hmm. I loved it, is I wish that they would have toasted the bun in a little bit of butter. Oh, yeah. Because wouldn't that have just been amazing? Oh, yeah. Yes, it would <laughs> yeah. have. But other than that, it was fantastic. All right. Check out the Cowboy Burger from Billman's. What can you oh. say about this thing? It's a big ass burger with some <laughs> ham on it. Right. And you can't go wrong. <laughs> it is really a popular one at the fair. Mm hmm Another burger, the Country Fried Bacon Burger from Twisted Tater. Mm-hmm. You know, See and I, I think someone made the joke at the thing because they were talking about um, the country fried and then country gravy or something like that. Uh -huh. And someone was like, you know, if it has country in it a couple of times, it's going to be good. Yeah, <laughs> for know? sure. The chicken house panini from Between the Buns. Mm -hmm. Just delicious. Little I love a panini. Coleslaw on it. Right. Mm -hmm. And how brilliant is that? Because, again, it brings that little extra flavor to it. Next up, the smoked salmon on a bagel. Oh, you know what that good. is. It's smoked salmon on a bagel with cream cheese. Right, right. From CR Fish and Things. And I have to assume that's a slightly healthier option than some of the other stuff at the fair. Yeah, this looks like a pretty <laughs> healthy one. Yeah, and on and also I just love salmon on bagels with a little cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just such a good little meal. That was one I was really excited to eat, too. You ever put capers on? Oh, hell yeah. yeah of course yeah. I put capers on. Yeah. Do I wonder I if they have capers, capers on? Do we know? They didn't. You know what? This. I don't know if they do. They did put lemons on it, which I really appreciated. All right, we'll find out. But, you know, we could probably ask. Or bring your, bring your own capers. <laughs> then, yeah. Then finally, the Big turkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Almost done with all the categories. Next up, hog on a log from Black Hawk Barbecue Pit. 
Oh, always a good one. That's another one that I tried that I remember trying last year too. That was a new entree. And again, it's just me on a stick. You can't go wrong. It's giant chunks of pork mm-hmm. on a stick. Yeah. And some barbecue sauce. Yeah. And finally, for the fairest entree and all the categories, it's the turkey. If anything is healthier than the salmon on a bagel, uh-huh. it could be this turkey bacon avocado crepe from Camille's Crepes. Now, I do want to point out it's turkey, comma, bacon, yes. not turkey bacon. Yes. So that's something to keep in mind. It's not uh, made of lies. <laughs> right, right. But yeah, honestly, good looking crepe, great profile. I mean, how could those three flavors not go perfectly together? Right. And and either no to low carbs, too. Yeah. So that yeah. could be the healthiest thing. You know, and another thing they mentioned, too, is that they can make a lot of their menu gluten-free. Yes. Which is super nice. So especially if you've got dietary restrictions, it sounds like they might be one of the best places to go. And want to mention, too, Blackhawk Barbecue Pit uh, won the People's Choice Award for their mac and cheese bowl, which we mm-hmm. didn't sample today. Uh, but let's get to the winners, shall we? We should. Okay. Again, best new sweet, then best new entree, then fairest sweet and fairest entree. Mm-hmm. Here we go. For the best new sweet, third was Peachy Keen from Camille's Crepes. Again, with the peaches, man. Second was Strawberry Butter Cake from mm-hmm. Creamy Creations. And Brandon Bird, the general manager of the Eastern Idaho State Fair, will announce number one in the best sweet category. The Eastern Idaho State Fair 2024 new sweet winner is from Sweet Temptations, their devil's delight. Yeah, congratulations, Sweet Temptations, for that visually appealing dessert. Mm-hmm. Uh, next up, best new entree. Number three was Chicken Cordon Bleu from Camille's Crepes. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. Yeah, it was great. Number two, the Krabby Patty Melt from... Also really good. Chop and Crab Shack. Yeah, that was my second favorite dish, so I thought it was perfectly suited for number two. And here comes number one with Brandon. And the winner of the 2024 Eastern Idaho State Fair Best New Entree goes to Between the Buns and their Surf and Turf. Which, frankly, even though I did really like that dish, I thought was kind of crap. Because really, the pickle pizza should have won. It was innovative. It was fantastic. It was delicious. And all of the flavors, all of the flavors mm. were so good. It was good. It was so it was really good. good. All right. Now, the fairest sweet third place, raspberry cream cheese brownie from Creamy Creations. Mm, that's pretty good. <laughs> Second place, the peach temptation from Sweet Temptations. Mm-hmm. And Brandon has number one. And the winner of the fairest sweet of them all. 2024 Eastern Idaho State Fair. Creamy Creations, better at the fair cake. I guess you can't go wrong with better than dot, dot, dot. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a treat at home. <laughs> it's a treat at church. It's a treat at funerals. And it's a treat at the fair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. And now the big kahuna, the fairest entree. This is the one you probably don't want to leave the Eastern Idaho State Fair Without trying this year. Yeah. Third place, the whole damn farm from Smoke and Bees. I was a little surprised that it was third place and not a little higher up. Mm. But that's just me. Second place, the sample platter from CR Fish and Things. People want to get that fried salmon. Oh, yeah. And then here's Brandon with first place winner. And the winner of this year's Best of the Mall Andre 2024 at the Eastern Idaho State Fair. Hog on a log by Black Hawk Barbecue! Congratulations, Blackhawk. Congratulations to everybody. We appreciate all the concessionaires of the Eastern Idaho State Fair. Yeah, you really can't beat me on a stick at the fair. I cannot argue with that. Congratulations, (laughs) Blackhawk. Wow. (laughs) But we want to know what your favorite fair food is. What's the thing that you always get every time you get there? What out of these are you most excited to try? And what's the one thing you wish that they had? We hope you enjoyed this very special <laughs> bonus mini sode of IFAF. We did it. We did 33 fair foods in less than 30 minutes. Yeah, which is pretty impressive, I think. I'm amazed. Yeah. we. I mean, we went through pretty quick. So, you know, if you want to know a little bit more in-depth opinion, send us a DM. We'll, we'll answer those. We don't mind. Fair is going on now through next Sunday, the 8th. Subscribe on YouTube. Let them know you like Idaho Falls infotainment, opinion, and bad jokes. And we'll see you back here Monday, Labor Day, September 1st. Or maybe we'll see you at the fair.